Tonight, continued debate over the COVID-19 vaccine. This, as a group of doctors in our state, is fighting back over vaccine mandates. Twin States News' Donisha Branham joins us now to explain. Lately, there have been heated discussions and plenty of controversy surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine mandates. And this comes after President Biden's new vaccine requirements. Some doctors here in Mississippi have formed a group and are taking a stand against the vaccine mandates. And they gives us details on why. And the hospital mandated that by October 31st that we all get uh, vaccinated uh, or possibly lose our job. So that's really what kind of got me started. According to the CDC's website, there are only two rare serious types of side effects, which are anaphylaxis and thrombosis, and that long-term side effects are rare. Uh, patients that typically would not be a good candidate or not a typical risk factor for having stroke, that they're, they're coming in with a stroke. And the only thing that I'm seeing that is correlative to these people that links them together is the fact that they took the vaccine several months earlier with threats on possibly being reprimanded or even possibly losing their license by speaking out against the vaccine, the doctors had this to say. We're going to speak out. We feel like it's a moral duty that we have to speak out. If I know what I know and I, and I don't say anything just to hold on to my medical license, I don't deserve a medical license. With the group Mississippi Against Vaccine Mandates having all doctors coming together for a cause, they tell us their main goal. We, we know there's risk involved to these vaccinations, and, and we just want to be able to talk about these risks. We want our patients to have an informed consent, you know, talk to them about the risk out in the open. And if the patient chooses to, have to, to be vaccinated, fine. But if they choose not to, that's fine, too. It, it's patient's choice. Shout out to the Mississippi Medical Association for a statement and have not heard back from them. Donisha Branham, Twin States News, Meridian.